right out the gate, I we recommended Golgol 13, The Professional. This is an anime film from 1983. Uh, the best way I can describe it is I think of uh, think of like James Bond crossed with a little bit of a point blank starring Lee Marvin. Really, really, really derivative, certainly. But that's OK. Uh, you know, it, when you say point blank, like that's at a certain point, like in the intro and whatnot, I'm going, oh, it's the James Bond thing. And then as the movie kind of wears out, I'm like, no, no, this movie is just, it is point blank. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> yeah, it is. It is point blank. The character even looks like Lee Marvin. I mean, obviously it's a Japanese uh, version, but uh, I have, I have heard that comparison a lot to things like uh, to James Bond, the spirits that go between nations and are ne- especially during the Cold War. But this is a film that is about an assassin. He's as much a part of the movie. He's the twister. He's the natural force. More about the people and how they change, how he changes them, and especially like the main boss that he's going after who is willing to just sell out anyone and anything to just capture Gogo 13. He has to kill a Nazi being paid by a wealthy Holocaust survivor, and he does that by assassinating him when he's in the middle of this orgy from three skyscrapers away, and he just shoots shoots at the like the right perfect spot to go through all these windows in this building to get the guy in the head it's it's oh, this is the standout bit of business in the oh, movie for me yeah this this whole thing is shot through this neon beer sign and it, it looks fantastic sir sir it was a super beer sign <laughs> super beer <laughs> like he is just a demon and we'll just wash away the entire CIA. You're just like, oh, it it seems impossible that he'd survive and he just kind (laughs) of (laughs) does. And it's great. You build up heavies and that's going to be a central focus. And here, it really isn't. They they build up the heavies and then (laughs) just kind of forget about it. But Gogol just sidesteps and shoves a grenade (laughs) in his mouth. And if you think anime is for children, uh, guess again, parents. 